Good morning, everybody. This is Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns, and I have somebody I'd like you to meet today. We're actually going to call this Onesie Wednesday with a twist, and I would like you to meet Harvey Walter. And I doubt many of you have ever seen this sculpt before, and I've had him for nine years probably about nine years about this time of year and I've actually had him I had him I had him out on my bed and everything for a lot of years and then when I started my YouTube channel I thought no I'm not gonna bring him out and I I put him up and um, the other day I started thinking about Mr. Harvey Walter and I thought, nope, I'm going to get him out. And I'm going to tell you a little story about him. When I, this is the Harvey sculpt, by the way, by Leanne Harvey. And nine years ago, she put out one vinyl kit. Leanne Harvey is actually an artist and she does clay babies and figurines, mostly babies, and they're absolutely darling. And you can find them in her store. You can find them on eBay. And then she decided she was going to do a vinyl kit. And she did. And she did this little guy. And his name, and she named him Harvey after her last name. And she released 250 of his kit. And now you can't find this kit anywhere. I mean, I've been on Doll Fan. I've advertised wanting one another kit. Uh, nobody has them. And if they do have them, they have, you know, held on to them for dear life. And if you know uh, um, Susan Gibbs of Putty Tat, she does, she did two Harveys that were unbelievable. They were so cute. And she's done them for other people, too, that would be sending her their kit. And it's, oh, anyway, he is, he's absolutely darling. He is an older kit by far. And I'll just tell you the story of why I have Harvey. Um, I think I got, I got Harvey in July, I think it was 2008. Um, right after he came out, well, when she advertised, I put in a pre pre order for him. Now I had barely started reborning, and uh, my I had got everything ready to do this. And my daughter and I, we took one class from somebody local, and uh, that was the funniest part because she wasn't that great of a reborn artist herself she was kind of new to it but it was enough to get us started and then my um, my father who lived in North Carolina uh, he died he was nine almost 92 years old and um, he died on June 13th 2008 and his name was Harvey Walter and I was very close to my dad and so um, I went back east, and I was there for a while, um, taking care of all of that. And then when I came back, this little guy was, she had shipped him. And I thought, oh, thank goodness I got him. I must have known, because my father looked very similar to this when he was a baby. He was a big, fat baby and had big, fat cheeks like this. And he had the blue, blue, blue eyes. That's I, I just remember my dad from these sky blue eyes. We called him German eyes. And um, anyway, I had just barely started reborning, and I had reborned a, a couple of kits, two or three kits, and maybe. And I never intended to sell any of the kits. I just was reborning to learn to do. Um, to 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 have dolls that I wanted for my own collection because, you know, I didn't feel like I could have just afford to go and get um, reborns. And back then, a really nice, I mean, super nice reborn you could get for five or six hundred dollars. 
and uh, they, um, you know, I wasn't going to intend to sell. I had bought a couple of them, and um, in those days, they had such hard vinyl that the women, and they were some, a lot of them were Behringer dolls, play dolls that were redone into reborns, and they had wigs on them because their vinyl was too hard to root. Anyway, but I had gotten some kits from Bountiful Baby and Seacrest Dolls, and I started doing my reborns, and I gave them to nieces, I gave them to friends, I kept the ones I thought were passable and had a lot of fun with them, you know. And then he came, and I thought, I have to reborn this little guy, because I just, you know, it's part of my dad. So, I did. He was like number five. And that was in that summer. I'd started in June, and he was about September that I started reborning him. And I did reborn him, and he was my first open-eyed baby. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I've kept him hidden all this time. Because, I mean, you know, this is a beginner doll. And honest to gosh, you know, there are glaring problems with this doll. I was a new... Um, a new reborner, not going to call myself a reborn artist at that time for sure. And, um, uh, but of course I thought he was gorgeous, you know. And, um, he was gorgeous to me and that's all that mattered because he reminded me of my dad. So I've had a lot of fun with him over the years. I've dressed him up for Christmas, for Halloween, for all kinds of things, but I hadn't brought him out here to meet all of you because. He is, um, like I said, has glaring problems. You know, his eyes, um, I glued them in. They were fine, but over the years, they've gotten so gunky, and I had put, I had rooted eyelashes on them, and I was one of the first to root eyelashes because I had such a problem applying them with glue and not making a huge mess. But I have pulled all those lashes out, and I tried to clean up his eyes a little bit because they got gunky over the years. Nobody used glass eyes in those days. And so they're pretty bad. And his veining is, oh my word, I won't even show you. It's so embarrassing. But, and his body that Leanne sent is just, I was playing with him today, um, is way too short. That onesie uh, is a zero to three months and it hangs probably two inches down below his little crotch. I'm not going to get, um, and that was, I don't know why, but he's, he's much too big and fat for his, his head and his limbs for that body. So that's the first thing I'm going to change out on him. And, um, I thought, what am I going to do with you? And so I thought, you know what I'm going to do after the first of the year, I think I'm going to, um, Either strip Mr. Harvey. Well, I'm, I'm going to change his eyes out for sure. Clean them up. Now, they're really glued in, so I'm hoping I don't have too much of a problem. And, um, you know, or if I can get by with it, I'm going to just freshen up his paint some. Try to fix the, 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 the veins that are on the side of his head. Like I said, I'm not going to dare show you. And, um, I fix his eyes. Uh... And then, he, then I'm going to have to redo his fingernails, that is for sure, and his toenails, because over the years, for some reason, they've gotten really gunky. And um, so, we're going to just do a little overhaul for this boy. I might just completely strip him down and redo him, and I think that's probably the route that we're going to go. I'm not going to touch his hair. Hair, trying to redo a doll's hair is 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 difficult it's not an easy thing to do you're pulling it all out and then you know you have your hairline and this was not the best rooting but it actually was pretty passable for being my fifth time I mean I'm not that I think it's his cut the color of his hair too blonde um Blonde forgives a lot of things. If it was dark hair, we might have a lot of trouble and I'd have to do something. But anyway, and this was really, really good mohair. And this lady does not produce this anymore. But um, uh, she doesn't, her, her husband had a heart attack. And so she just, after this, she just um, went and 
she stopped selling on eBay and I, we couldn't get the mohair from that supplier anymore. But it is nice mohair. It's held up all these years. It's very soft, very silky. And so I think, you know, I'm just going to leave his hair the way it is. But I'm going to take him down, get a new body, do some eyes, you know, and give him a little refreshed look because this, he's too much, he, he's too sentimental to me. And he's a darling kit that a lot of people want now, but they can't obviously get. And if anybody does have this sculpt, and they're watching this, and they want to sell it to me, please contact me, because I will buy it. And um, anyway, so that is my Mr. Harvey, and I thought I'd bring him out for the public to see, put my pride aside, you know, but however, we can be a little forgiving since it was my fifth reborn baby. <laughs> so I'm sure all of you can understand, but we can... We can um, make him real nice, I think. Anyway, he is fun to dress, and he's just a fun little guy. But the first thing I'm going to do is get a different body, because this body is nine years old, and it needs to be redone. And I don't think they make the, they make the bodies a lot better now than they did then. And so I'm going to get him a little bit longer body, and I just wanted to show you the back of his hair. And... um. I mean, I'm even a little impressed with this. You know, in those days, we had to use a big needle because they didn't. there was no really no such thing as micro-rooting, or if somebody did micro-rooting, it was um, a very forward-thinking person. And, you know, we were using the uh, 38, the 38, uh, or 36 six-barb rooting needle, and that was big you know you're not going to get little tiny holes with that but um now i use a 46g and the 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 bigger the number the smaller the needle anyway um i i only use a one barb needle and it's a crown needle so you can see some differences here but there he is and his hair's just over the years and he's been played with a lot i mean his hair's in there it doesn't come out you know he's not um, it's not falling out after all this time. So I'm very happy with that. But that, anyway, I just wanted to share that little story with you about my dad. I've been missing him a lot lately. He was a really good friend and a, just a great man. And I really adore him. And I really do, the, the limbs on this little guy, they're not detailed. Um, but I do like his thumb and his forefinger there because they can hold things. And that is, that's what's fun. You know, he can do that and he does have a magnetic pacifier. So he's, he's a, he's a fun baby. But, you know, check out these limbs. They are so chunky. It's just hilarious. But that was one of the very appealing things about him was how chunky he he was in his little fat face. Anyway, that's my boy Harvey Walter, and um, you'll be seeing more of him, and um, you know, definitely after I get his uh, spa treatment all done, which probably won't be till after the first of the year because I have a a custom and a few things I want to do before then and I can't believe I'm even saying this that Christmas is around the corner I mean it's September and if you're like me it just seems like once it hits October 1st the next thing you know it's Christmas time it just flies by so anyway alrighty that's enough talk from me today and I will be back thank you for watching